when I dishonor you, I don't dishonor you. I dishonor the cosmic power that formed you in the first place. And you are not deformed, you're day deformed. You're a product of God's activity. And when you look in the mirror and you don't see the fingerprint of God, you're, it's because you're looking at smudges left by hands that shouldn't have been on you in the first place. This is God. God tilted the earth at 23 and a half degrees on its axis, caused it to spin at a thousand over a thousand miles an hour, completing a rotation in a 24 hour period, giving me a sunrise and a sunset. God caused the earth to re elliptically revolve around the sun at a speed over 66,000 miles an hour, maintaining the necessary critical velocity to maintain the distance between the earth and the sun. If it went one mile faster, you'd be hurled in the outer darkness. One mile slower, you'd be drawn into the sun. But somehow, beyond what I know, I know there must be an infinite power that has moved things and put things, and this didn't just happen by accident. Did. It was God that put this hollow contractor organ beating rhythmically in the center of my chest 70 times a minute, 4,200 times an hour, probably 100,000 times a day, over 36 million times a year in one 24-hour period emitting enough energy to lift one ton, 42 feet off the ground but only taking time to rest in between beats. I have a history that says God did this. God put the wet in water the puff in a cloud, the blue in the sky, the sweet in an orange, the tart in a lemon. He put the crisp in a lettuce, the crunch in an apple. He put the breath in my body. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way.